All right. Welcome back to another episode of my movie review series, episode 96. Now, last week I said I was going to come back and do a movie, a movie review on a superhero film. Now, who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> Yeah, man, this is it right here, baby. 1994. The Shadow. Starring. Starring. Our President of the United States, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> you know, Penelope Ann Miller. Um, Peter Boyd. Ian McKellen, Tim Tim Curry, yep, Pennywise is in, in this movie too. Jonathan Winters, um, John Loam, music by Jerry Goldsmith. <laughs> yeah, baby, I tell you. Yeah, directed by the uh, directed by the same cat that directed the uh, the first Highlander, the first and third Highlander. Yeah, Russell. Mo, 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 Russell Mulcahy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I go with that. Russell Mulcahy, yeah, same cat that directed the first and third Highlander. Yeah, he directed this movie too, so, you know, this movie gotta be epic, and guess what? Yeah, this movie is epic, Jack. I mean, this is such a, oh, man, mm. such a visually powerful film. Yeah, a visually powerful film. I mean, you know, you got this character, The Shadow. I mean, not many people know who The Shadow is. Don't They don't know, know what The Shadow looks like. They don't know who Lamont Cranston, you know, The Shadow. You don't know who he looks like. I mean, because of that, you know, because you know, The Shadow started out as a radio show back in 1930s. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of radio shows, man. It was a lot of radio shows back then. I mean, yeah, you don't know. You just don't know. But, yeah, it was a lot of radio shows back then, you know. But then, yeah, Shadow, you know, he was a radio show. And then he became a serial. And I ain't talking about the, uh... I ain't talking about that type of serial. No, I'm talking about the... Weekend specials that you go to the uh, theaters and watch, you know, those half hour weekend specials, you know, not even half hour, hell, you know, some of those things will last for 20 minutes, you know, but yeah, those weekend, those weekend specials that you go and watch, you know, you, at that time you watch for, uh, you watch for a nickel, something like that, so yeah, you know, yeah, I'll tell you, inflation, these days, you watch a movie for, what, $18, you know, if you're living in L.A. or New York, you know? <laughs> yeah, I tell you, man. Yeah, that's all that's, that's all you will know of the shadow. And then, then, then a little bit later on, you know, you'll get the, um, you'll get comic books and magazines or whatever, you know? Very little comic books, I mean, very little comic books that will have the shadow on it. But yeah, they're out there. They're out there. Trust me, I know. I've seen them. I've seen them. You know, the comic book shop around here, you know, I've seen um, a few in the back, you know, you know behind the, um, the cash register, you know, the um, wall of them. I've seen, uh, I've seen a shadow up there. So yeah, you know, there are some shadow comics out there, you know. You know, if you, uh, if you, if you go digging, you know, if you go digging, you know, like uh, you know, like eBay or Amazon, you know, the best place to uh, to look for anything to shop online these days. So yeah, man, go ahead and look for the shadow. You know, but yeah, that's out there, man. You know, yeah, the cereals, you know, those um, you know, <laughs> you can find those cereals out there too. So yeah, you know. Not cereal with a C, but cereal with an S, you know, those cereals. You can find those out there, too. But, yeah, I tell you. But, yeah, you know, with um, this movie, though, 
you know, it started out as a started out as a radio show, and then you know it transgression, you know, transcended into trans, transgression. It transcended into you know serials, and then you know you saw them through comics, and then but when it came time to actually do a movie, a big Hollywood movie, you know, this is it right here. This is it. And yeah, I tell you, this movie, you know, even though, even though it, when it came out a long time ago, in 94, you know, it was not an instant hit, you know, it didn't score big at the box office you know, at that time, but you know, I'm sure you know, people out there that is pretty watching right now, they're digging it right now. I mean, yeah, you know, with um, I mean, hey, if they're still showing it on TV, if, they're showing, if you're a star subscriber, then you might be watching this movie right now. You know, right now while watch this review, you're watching this movie. <laughs> but yeah, I tell you though, if you're a, if you're a star subscriber, then check this movie out. Look for it in the listings. You know, go on demand, whatever. Check. Look in the listings. Check this movie out. I mean, that is if you seen the movie before and you watch this review. Why would you? Why would you watch the movie if you know? Oh, don't get me started with that. <laughs> but I tell you, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, this movie though, yeah, like I say, you know, it is visually powerful. I mean, yeah, you know, for. For the time period of 1994, you know, you get those special effects in there, you know, it looked very dated right now, especially if you see, you know, the shadow moving on the wall, you know, you know the, the animation of it, you know, it's not very up to par, obviously, because, you know, you can do a lot more these days with animation than you could have back in 94, uh, so, you know, with the shadow, you know, you see the shadow moving on the wall, you know, you know, that one scene when they, you know, the, the, um, the Mongol warrior, you know, he, fly, he, he flashing his flashlight, he, he hit the wall, you see the shadow, you know, <laughs> you know, you see the shadow, you know, doing that type of movement, you know, and you, you, you just see a shadow of the shadow, you know, because, you know, that's how... He does it, you know. He can he can make himself turn invisible, but you can only see him. You can only see his shadow. You know, he would be in the room with you, but he can bend your perception. You know, he can bend your mind's perception and turn and have himself turn invisible. As a matter of fact, that's one of the that's one of the shadow's superpowers. You know, you know, yeah, you know, he can he can hypnotize you. That's his main power, Hypn hypnosis, his main power, and then, you know, he can control your thoughts, you know, he can read your thoughts, you know, and then, you know, he can bend your perception and make himself invisible, only thing you can see is his shadow, so yeah, I tell you, man, yeah, this guy, yeah, like I said, this movie is visually powerful, especially in the scene when um, he walks into the hotel that is invisible to everybody else, but only he can see it because he, um, awoken his, um, his um, his his um, vision. He, he awoke in his perception of it because he did not see it before either. But then, when he cleared his mind, he saw you know he saw it completely illuminate from the cloud that was his mind. And yeah, you see the hotel that was sitting there the whole time. This big hotel, the Hotel Monolith, you, know, you see it sitting there the whole time. Nobody else in New York can see this damn thing, but only he can. He and the enemy, Shiwan Khan, can see this hotel. But yeah, when he uncovered it, you know, yeah, you see the uh, the whole thing there. You know, yeah, you know the. Uh, the, the, the villain of the movie, yeah, Shiwan Khan, the last, the last descendant of Genghis Khan. You know, Genghis Khan was a Mongolian warlord that nearly conquered half the world throughout his lifetime, many ancient years ago. Yeah, he's a real badass, I tell you. 
So yeah. So you got this guy, Shi Wan Khan, coming in, and he is the last descendant. You know, he awoken from Khan's um, sarcophagus, you know, and now he's uh, intending to finish the job and ruling the rest of the world. Ruling the world, period. Not a Khan, you know, thing. You know, he's a Genghis Khan, you know, he's um, his ancestor, you know. Now that he's gone, you know, Shi Wan Khan, he's coming in, he's going to finish the job, you know. Finished with his ancestor and did not. So yeah, you know, he, yeah, he's going to rule the world. You know, he got the uh, he got this huge atomic bomb to uh, to help him do it. But yeah, but yeah. So yeah, it's, you know, it's up to the. Uh, it's up to the shadow to uh to go stop him, you know. Yeah, classic battle between good and evil, you know. Shiwan Khan, you know, also trained under the uh, the same teacher that trained the shadow, you know, a man named the Toku, a, a holy man who is, you know, very ancient in his years, but you know he was very young. And, you know, he got the, uh, he also got a lot of power, you know, the, one of the most powerful beings on earth. Yeah, he taught Lamont Cranston, and he taught Shiwa Khan, not at the same time, but still, you know, he taught both of them, you know. After he taught Cranston, you know, you know, Cranston, you know, he spent seven years learning from the Toku, you know. He uh he, he is now he is now the shadow, so you know, he goes and he do his uh his thing. But you know, with uh Shi Wan Khan, you know, he uh he can't really um he can't he can't redeem everybody, you know. Shi Wan Khan killed the Toku after he learned everything from him. But yeah, he became the more powerful of, you know, he and, you know, he and Shadow, you know, he became the more powerful of the two, and yeah, so, many years later, you know, he, when he finally meets the Mount Christ and aka the Shadow, when he finally meets him, you know, he wants him to join his army, you know, yeah, for the last time, will you join me? You cannot fool me. You cannot defeat me. Your mind is the open book to me. <laughs> but yeah, you know, evidently, as always, no good triumph against evil. Shadow, he beat Shi Wan Khan. You know, he beat him in his own game. But yeah, like I said, you know, this movie is visually stunning. You know, it's visually. <laughs> That's a visually stunning, yeah, the movie, you know, yeah, it is visually stunning, you know, I love, I love, I love how they, um, how they make their eyes practically glow, you know, they don't do the, um, no computer effects, nothing like that, but, you know, with these uh these special contacts, you know, once light hit them, you know, you'll see that and it has, it has a certain shine to it. So yeah, you know, when uh anytime, you know in any time the shadow he uh he uh started to um move things with his mind, you know. You know, his eyes would would have a certain glow to it. But then, you know, when uh, you start to hypnotize someone, you know, his eyes will turn red. Literally, it will turn red, you know. But, you know, you get to see a nice little cloud here, you know, dark in here, dark in here. And you get to see his eyes, you know. You get to see not eyes that just turn red. Yeah, I love how they've done that, though, you know. You know, Shi Wan Khan, he woke him from the um, sarcophagus and the, the uh, security guard that was keeping watch on him. You know, 
you know, you know, Khan, you know, his eyes was uh, immediately red, you know. And join me or die. <laughs> Your mind is weak. Fall to you. Put your gun to your temple. Sacrifice yourself to me. <laughs> yes, my God. Boom. <laughs> but yeah, I tell you. I tell you, yeah. Hell of a power to have, you know. Hypnotize them, control their mind. Woo. Man. Yeah. The people out there I love to hit with that power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, you know, the clouded mind sees nothing. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'll tell you that. Yeah, this movie, though, yeah. One hell of a picture. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty epic film. I mean, you know, you get, he got the, um, this character, you know, this character, you know, he brought into the forefront, you know, I, forcefully, you know, they brought him to the public like this. I mean, they could have, um, they could have done a little bit more media. Put get, could have given more media attention to it, but, you know, I'm thinking like um, out of the blue, you know, we just seen a movie called The Shadow, and automatically, you know, we're supposed to um, get into it, we're supposed to accept it, you know, even though he did have star power with um, Alec Baldwin, who was very big at the time, you know, you know, nowadays, he just, he, he just um, imitating Donald Trump on the SNL, you know, whenever, but, you know, <laughs> but, you know, back in the early 90s, man, he was everywhere, you know, Film at the film at the film, you know. So yeah, I tell you though, you know, this is um, yeah, this is one hell of a picture though, one hell of a movie, man. And you know, there's this one song in it, and there's one song called "Original Sin," which is pretty much the theme from The Shadow. Yeah, this movie called "Original Sin," done by this uh, this theme, this singer name. Taylor Dane. Man, that song, that song kicks ass. The music video also kicks ass because, you know, you just watch the video, you just see this, the video made the movie look a lot more epic than it really, it really was. I mean, shit. The movie made the, the, the video made the movie a lot more epic than it really was. Yeah, I'll link that down in the description, Jack. You know, of course I do with um, every other review that I, I have done. You know, any, anytime they have a theme song in there, I put it in the description. I don't know if y'all seen that or not, but yeah. Nobody ever reads the descriptions, I guess. But yep, it's down there. You know? <laughs> it's down there. Just take a look. So yeah, man, I tell you. Yeah. Like I said, you know, back back with the uh, back with that hotel though, back with that hotel, and you know, I ran off tangent talking about other things. But yeah, back at that hotel though, you know, you know the shadow, you know, the the uh, the uh, the effects, the visual effects, you know, shadow he enters the hotel, you know, you can see, you know, you know, the uh, the 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 shape of of him, you know, you get to see how the uh, you know how Cartoony, her cartoon, her how cartoonish it looks. But you know, when uh, you know when uh, he uh, finally takes form, you know when he, he when he uh, reveals himself, and you see you know the cape flapping, you know, you see the cape flapping, everything like that, you know, lightning flashes, and you hear that great theme song from Jerry Goldsmith, you know. You know, it is just 100% awesome. 100% just plain awesome, Jack. I mean, damn. Yeah, Shadow, you know, you turn to the side, and, you know, you get that, you get the uh, the famous side view that you'll see in every single picture of him. You know, look up a picture of the Shadow, you get to see that he does, you know, he, he turns 
and he got that side view, you know, you know the you know face is covered with the mask and the red mask, face is covered and you got the hat, you know, you get to see you get to see his eyes because you know the eyes the eyes tell everything, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much like that, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll tell you though. It's just a it's just a visual wonder to behold. That's all I'm trying to say with this movie though. It is just a visual wonder to behold. It's a dark film, you know. You know, set in nineteen thirties, but it's a dark film. A visual wonder to behold. A lot of fun to watch. And you know, it is one hundred percent story driven. It's very story driven. You get a lot of action sequences here and there, but it's one hundred percent story driven. So yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah, you will get into the story, and it is just like I say, it is just an epic, epic film. Very awesome. So man, this movie is a straight up nine, straight up nine out of five. Yeah, it is that good. This movie is straight up five out of five, Jack. That's my review, and I'm sticking to it. Now, next week, man, next week, next week is going to be another uh, pre-tape show because, you know, I don't control expiration dates. So next week is another pre-tape show. I'm coming back. I'm going to be talking about some kids that got a lot of disturbing behavior. So you keep it locked right here for that, Jack. Check out my other shit right here. Subscribe to me right here. And in the meantime, in between time, this show is off.